So one thing, we're going to do something a little different, but we want to get our table out of the way, and it's all in all these different pieces. So I'm just going to select all of the table minus our character, just uh, control or shift left mouse actually in this particular case, and I'm going to combine them boop, into one. So now I can just move that out of the way. And we're going to go over what we did in class, which was the refrigerator. So if I take this guy here, let's say these guys are hungry, uh, ignore the fact one is armored and one is nude, we'll just, yeah, we'll just look the other way on that one. And uh, we're just going to make this guy here. We've got our um, scale references so that we can see what a human is that's roughly six feet would look like to them. And we talk briefly about if you press the number three, it shows it's uh, what the model would look like if it's smoothed, which in this case turns a cube to an egg, which we don't want. So um, this is really quick just to kind of show how we can get some of those round edges and just get a little bit more of a smoother shape that you're not going to cut yourself on when you're grabbing a drink of water at the middle of the night. So we're going to go in and we're going to put in our dividing line of where the freezer and the refrigerator are. And now we're going to do that same thing where we select both faces extrude, but tell it not to keep faces together. Keep faces together is turned off. And now when I offset this, I can get some thickness. And that works really well. So now we have some thickness, uh, which makes a lot more sense. And now we can extrude again. Now since extrude is the last thing I did, I'm going to show you a shortcut, which is the letter G. If I press that once, it extrudes again, because that's the last function that I actually did. Um, we want to pull it back there, give it some depth. That's pretty good. Now we got our uh, basic refrigerator shape. But if I press 3, once again, we've got the surprise blinded uh, cyclops, which doesn't really work for us. So the trick of having this when we want to soften it out so these edges won't cut somebody is when it smooths, let me just show you this. I'm going to duplicate this and pull it over. All these edges are actually not enough information that when we smooth this, which is basically adding more edges, it rounds itself entirely. And we need to add more edges um, to the corners to help define a shape. And we want to get them relatively, you know, even to each other. And we want to make it so that as we add those, you can see uh, they're, they're popping in. If I were to go into object mode right now, just with those couple of lines, and I press 3, you'll notice it's already holding much better shape than it did previously. Right? Still not good enough, but definitely much better than what it was. So I'm just going to press 1, 1, and we're going to continue on to that. So the idea is I want to box in like these corners all over this model, just adding divisions where I need them. And these edges are going to help. Putting basically a cube on each corner and boxing it in is what's going to help maintain that shape that it needs. Because without that, it has a hard time understanding what it is we're trying to do and what shape it should try and hold. So you notice I'm putting these the, the three on each section so that we're basically making these shapes, giving them more information and telling them, hey, you gotta gotta hold on there.
so that we actually have more information that when we would smooth it, there's three, that it's going to hold together much better. And it's still the general shape. Things are still working, but that, that looks more manufactured as opposed to just uh, a concrete slab chiseled in the form of a refrigerator. So just giving me those edges uh, or putting those in is doing working wonders. And it looks like we need one more inside of here because this one is like it's getting a little too rounded in there. I mean, really, it's an aesthetic. It depends on what you're trying to do. But that actually works a whole lot better. Okay. Let's try and look at it one more time. Press 3. And that's looking... That's looking nice. Now, if I want to see what it really looks like, I'll duplicate it. I'm going to pull that over. And then I would actually go to the mesh tools and say smooth. And then this is a true smooth without the three. This is actually showing when it's subdivided what that's going to look like. And you can see that's holding together pretty well. And if I turn off the uh, wire shaded mode, we can see it's pretty close to that. And that's holding its shape really nice. Looking good. Okay. Turn wire shaded back on. You back on. Now there could be some cleanup I could do here. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I want you guys just to get used to what you're doing right now. We'll worry about uh, clean polygons and all that kind of stuff. But one thing is, uh, you know, his energy bill and efficiency is going to be uh, not so great if he doesn't have some doors. So if I want to create a door, and I'm just quickly going to make a cube that is going to uh, represent that door. So I, once again, I have to get what what it is I'm going for. What's the shape? What's the size? What's the thickness? But generally, that silhouette is really important. Um, so I go in, and I'm basically making it the, the shape that I would want. Once again, this is definitely an aesthetic. Um, how modern it is, just have a, you know, some form of uh, ice maker and all that kind of stuff, you know. And we can adjust its height afterwards. We just want to get the general shape. So essentially, I want to use the same thing because if I press three, we could see once again not that efficient. Things that spoil, house is cold, bill is skyrocketing. All things are bad. So. Um, I'd want to do uh, basically that same thing and just start to add. Later on I'm going to show you how to do what's called a bevel to do some of this stuff which will make it a lot easier. Um, I don't know, I'll wait until class and then I'll put a step of video after that uh, just so that we can go over it together and you can ask questions. Uh, but right now if I hit 3 much better. You see that? That looks nice. And then I could just duplicate that, pull that down to here, and then you say, well, what about, you know, it's not very efficient. Uh, put it back in mode one. I'm just going to grab the vertices that are on the bottom, make sure we got all of them. And we're just going to pull those down. And now if I hit 3, we can see temporarily what that looks like. And the only thing we need now is just a uh, handle of some sort. And that is uh, pretty simple. That's literally just taking a cube. Once again, depends on how you want to design this and how much detail you want to put on there but basically just taking this cube and that's awfully thick so let's kinda shrink that down just a little bit we're going to elongate it 
flatten that out. say it's something like this press F and here's a nice little trick so we go we grab the face up top grab the face at the bottom so we have the top and the bottom selected uh, we extrude and uh, then I can pull those out like so And now I can do a few things. I'm just going to keep it simple for right now. Jinkies. Let's do this. So I'm going to go in, grab that face, and that face. And now I'm extrude again. Now the cool thing is, last thing, I could grab these faces here, like all around, and I will extrude and push them inward, like so. Look at that. Uh, look at the detail. Fancy schmancy. And now we've got that. Now if I hit three on that, it may or may not work to what you want. Um, that's actually not bad, but you do lose some of those details. And once again, um, if you do want to do that, but you want to maintain some of those details, that's where you start to go in and add uh, some extra edges to help maintain some of those details that you might want. And it depends on how many and how you place them. It's giving me a better lip now, but... I'd want to decide, like, oh, well, how do I want those to be positioned? Do I want to tighten this up? Um, do I want to add more edges? And then you just have to experiment a little bit and see and just keep testing it. And I'd duplicate this, shorten it, and put it up there. That is it.